So this week's pitch activity, uh, we're going to be exploring pitch using our voices. So we're going to do three parts to this activity. We're going to start off with um, just warming up our voices and just learning the words that we're going to use. So we're going to be chanting. Um, what we're also going to be doing is warming up our bodies. So we're going to be using our arms to stretch out and we're going to be stretching up and down to make sure that you've got a little bit of room around you so you don't bump into anything. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to listen and find out what the words we're going to be saying are. Springtime warms up, here comes summer, autumn cools down, here comes winter. Okay. So now we know what we're going to be singing. We're just going to, or saying, I should say, we're going to start off just by speaking the words and we're going to listen to the volume, the, the dynamics, so how loud or quiet they are. So when the words are really quiet, we're going to start with our arms all tucked in. And as they get louder and louder and louder, we're going to stretch all the way out. And then as they get quieter and quieter, we're going to come back in. Okay, so let's give that a go. Springtime warms up, here comes summer, autumn cools down, here comes winter. Okay, one more time. Springtime warms up, here comes summer, autumn cools down, here comes winter. Okay, well done. So that was part one of this activity. So number two, we're going to learn the tune. So we're going to sing instead of saying the words. And we're going to listen to whether the notes go up or if they go down. So if it's a low note all the way at the bottom, we're going to be all crouched up on the floor. And as they get higher and higher and higher, we're going to stretch up all the way to the ceiling. Okay. And then as it comes back down, we'll go back to a crouching position. So let's just have a little listen and find out what we're going to be doing. We're listening to the tune. Springtime warms up, here comes summer, autumn cools down, here comes winter. Okay, so we'll start by down. Springtime warms up, here comes summer, autumn cools down, here comes winter. Okay, let's give that one more go and see how you guys do. Okay, you ready to crouch on the floor? Springtime warms up, here comes summer. Autumn cools down, here comes winter. So we'll do one more time with the right words for me this time. Springtime warms up, here comes summer. Autumn cools down, here comes winter. Fantastic. Okay, so there's just one more part to this activity. And we've been using our voices. And singing the words and make and doing the actions as we're singing. This time we're going to listen to the words, but only in our heads. So I'm going to play a track and it's not going to have any words at all. And I want you to see if you can remember the actions just by listening to the music. So let's play it and show you what I mean. Okay, so remember we start crouch down. Fantastic guys, well done.
okay guys so this week's singing activity uh, i've got a new song for you i've got uh, i have a song to sing and it's from the out of the arc website they've got loads of really good tunes if you just want to have a listen during the week and try and learn a new tune every few days that'd be amazing okay so we're gonna do i have a song to sing this week so we're just gonna have a sip and a listen and see if we can learn the words just by listening to start off with you ready Okay, so we're gonna give that a try now ourselves. So we'll just just take your time. If you need to pause this video and go back and try again, don't worry. Do that as many times as you need. Okay, so we're gonna learn the verse together. Okay, here we go. Let everybody sing the life in our unity, the hope in our song. I have a song to sing. It has a simple melody. Let If you need to go back and repeat and play it a few more times and sing on, that's absolutely fine. I have got an extra challenge for you guys this week. Um, Out of the Ark also uh, have a video on YouTube where you can learn the British Sign Language signs to go with it. Um, this is really handy for learning the words actually if you sign at the same time. Um, so I will add it as a separate link into our activity pack for those of you that want to give that a go. So now we're on to our pattern activity. We're going to be practicing counting in two, three or four beats in a group. Uh, for this, in your um, activity pack there should be a picture of three snakes and we're going to need them they look like this we're going to need them for this activity you're going to try and match the the pattern to the snake okay so make sure you've got that with you okay so we're going to have a listen and see if you can pair them up Ada, 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 Bite! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Rattlesnake, 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 bite! One, two, three, four. Anaconda, 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 squeeze! Okay, so do you think you got all of them right? Shall we have a look? Okay, so the first rhythm that went one, two. One, two, that was Simon. And the next one that went one, two, 
three, one, two, three. That was Cynthia. And then one, two, three, plump. One, two, three, plump. That was Salvadora. Can you see how their names match the number of beats in each group? So we've got add, add, one, two, one, two. And then we have got, ooh, I've forgotten, we've got rattlesnake. Cynthia's a rattlesnake. So it goes rattlesnake, rattlesnake, one, two, three, one, two, three. Brilliant. So let's move on to the next part of the activity. Okay. So in this one, we're going to use Simon's two beat pattern. And we're going to make some really silly noises. And we're going to see if we can make a, a hissing pattern using two beats. And I want you to find different ways that you can put extra oomph and extra emphasis on beat number one. So if it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, it goes Have a try and see if you can come up with another way that you can lean on that beat one. Have you had a try? Did you find that you can make beat number one really loud and beat number two really quiet? And then did you find that you could also swap it so you could do a really long hiss for beat number one but just a really short one for number two? Should we give it a try? So we'll do loud and quiet first. So it goes Okay, and let's try a really long one and a really short one for beat number two. So it goes. Fantastic, guys. Give that another go and see if you can do it for Cynthia's rhythm and for Salvadora's rhythm. So remember, Cynthia is three beats in a group. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. And then Salvadora, she has four beats in her rhythm. So it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll leave you guys to have a go at that. See if you can come up with ways to make sure that you, you lean on that beat number one so you know where the group of beats start. Okay, so the third part of your pattern activity, you're going to need something that makes a shaking sound. So you might have a maraca or a rattle around your house, or you might have to make one. I've attached a link to your activity pack so you can see how to make one out of a bottle um, and some just little bits and pieces lying around the house, so things like rice, pasta, if you want to give it a try. When you've done that, when you've made it or found an instrument to use, come back and start the activity. So press pause for now until you're ready and then come back and press play.
Okay, so we're ready to take part in the last bit of the activity then. I have found a maraca to make my snake noises with. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have a little practice first and see if you can um, play Simon's rhythm to start off with. So the one, two, one, two rhythm with your shaker. Okay, so remember, put a little bit extra on beat number one so it's a little bit more clearer. So it'll go one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's play along with the track now, shall we?